Welcome to the Eat Your Elephant podcast. This podcast is here to help you to conquer your big goals. Because the big things in your life that you want to accomplish and achieve, they're going to take more than one step. And this podcast is here to help you develop the right mindset, to take the actions, to keep moving forward and making progress towards your big goal. That way, you can guide your life to go in the direction that you want it to go and enjoy it too. I'm your host, Nick Maisie. Let's get started. Well, hello there. Welcome to episode 59 of the Eat Your Elephant podcast. If you've been with us for a little bit, then you know we just got out of that uh, series on the choosing your mindset. Clearly, I think it's an important, uh, valuable thing to do to choose your mindset that you want. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have spent, I think it was 10 episodes on talking about choosing your mindset. But now we're moving on to other stuff. So well, let's get started. Today, we're talking about how to really use a what if. Have you ever asked yourself, what if blank happened? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I've done it a lot. It's a thought that just kind of creeps into my mind. It happens. Maybe ask yourself, well, what if she doesn't like me? What if I don't get that sale? What if I don't get that job? What if I don't stay on track with my diet? What if I fail? What if I fall off track? And what if I don't hit my goals? Well, <laughs> those just sound like they kind of suck. The big problem with asking what if is that a lot of the time it's not something helpful. In fact, most of it, it ends up being something harmful. So it's like on those examples, what if she doesn't like me? Okay. He or she might not like you. That's life. That's okay. Uh, the, but the problem with focusing on the possibility that somebody won't like you, then two things happen. First of all, uh, if you focus on them not liking you, then you, you might not even approach them. You know, and then what's that? The Wayne Gretzky quote: uh, "You miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take." So if you focus on you know them not liking you, you might not approach them. And then if you do, and you're thinking the whole time about the, them not liking you, then you're probably not going to act in a way that's going to encourage them to like you. And then you're going to think about how it's going to go so bad. And then before you know it, you're going to be right, and it's going to go terribly. Or what if you say, what if I don't succeed at this new business that I really want to start? Well, it's just the same as the other example. You might not succeed. That's life. It happens. Now, if you don't start that business, of course it won't succeed. But and again, we're having two outcomes. You, know, you play it safe. You don't start the business. You never even give it a try. And you have no clue on what you possibly could have achieved that or uh, you do give it a, a kind of try and you're focusing the whole time on well what if I fail and then by focusing on what if I fail you don't really pursue it with a hundred percent of all that you got and if there's any bit of talking to anybody about your job if that's a part any part of the job then you're not going to speak with the confidence and the passion that you would if you were focusing on it succeeding because in the back of your mind the whole time you're thinking well what if I fail so by thinking about the what ifs, these negative what ifs, tends to either lead to not pursuing it at all or not diving in 100% and giving it the best that you got. So this is kind of related to something called a self-fulfilling prophecy. And all that's saying is that when we act in a way because of something that we believe to be true, we act in a way that ends up making it become true. So thinking she won't like me. So I act in a way like she won't. And then she doesn't because I treated her like she won't. She think, I think, well, maybe my business won't succeed. So in my mind, I'm thinking that it won't succeed. So I act in a way like it won't succeed. And then it fails because I didn't fully commit and truly believe in the product or the service that I was offering. Now, for those of the psychology students out there, yes, technically a self-fulfilling prophecy has to have another person to, to respond to my actions of, of my beliefs. But what I'm saying is it kind of relates to that. It's, it's what I'm talking about in this episode is acting in a way by, by thinking about these, all these what ifs, acting in a way that my actions end up making that what if come true. Now, this whole thing is about really using a what if in the right way or a positive way, maybe not right or wrong, but in a very positive way to help you succeed and achieve your goals is you can use it for your success. And like a lot of things, it's not that a what if is a bad or a wrong or, or no, there's no good or bad or right, wrong. Not with what ifs. 
It's just how you use it. Are you going to use it in a way that's going to help you to succeed and achieve your goals and enjoy life? Or are you going to use it in a negative way that a lot of people just, it's easier to think in a negative way. It doesn't take any effort. It just happens. Or are you going to take a little bit of effort and be intentional and use it for a positive thing that can help you to have the life that you want? So what if she does like me? I think I may have been using that what if she likes me example, uh, just thinking back to asking my beautiful wife out for the first time. Um, but that aside, what if she does like me? Well, then I go for it. You know, and then I actually have a shot and I act like, hey, I got a possibility of having a good interaction with this person. It might be for uh, dating purposes or it might you really want to meet somebody because you think you can help each other out in achieving their, your, each of your goals. So you think it's the what if in the positive way and then let the actions follow that. What if I start my business and it works? That would be amazing. Think about that positive side of it and you'll put forth more effort. You'll really believe with passion and certainty and confidence that you can achieve and your actions will show that. And when your actions show that, you're more likely to succeed. What if, what if I can lose weight and make my health a priority? See, even when I just say those words, I feel like there's more passion and emotion coming out. And how amazing would that be to actually feel good and have energy and love it? Well, you can, you, you can, because you think about those what ifs and see the possibility that's in the future. So you're, you're creating your future. You're creating your future right now by your actions. So all the what if is, is what if you actually gave it your best shot and you made it happen? That's not something that's a, a what if to anybody else, but you, because you are the one that's going to choose your actions. You can make it happen. See the possibilities that I out there. I say, hey, what if this actually worked? What if, what if you actually tried your absolute best, made your health a priority, or do dove into starting that business that you really wanted to and make a difference in the world? You can use these positive what-if scenarios to help you set goals, take action, and enjoy life. Asking what if isn't wrong or bad. Just use it in a way that's going to help you to have the life that you want. What if, what if you really pursued your goals? What could that look like? It could be pretty amazing. All right. Well, that's a, that's the episode for today. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for listening to this podcast. For more information and resources and all kinds of good stuff, past episodes and, and posts with the show notes and all that, go to nickmazy.com. If you're interested in some of the books that helped shape my mindset and where I get a lot of information from and that just fuel for my fire, uh, go to nickmazy.com slash books. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you in the next episode.